Yumi, the Japanese word for bow, most associated with Daikyu, the long unique asymmetrical bow with the grip placed below the center. These types of bows have existed in Japan for over 2,000 years. The legendary first emperor of Japan, Emperor Jimu, is often depicted carrying a bow. He reigned from 660 to 585 BC, though this depiction is from 1891. Yumi became significant symbols of power after the 4th century in Japan when horses were introduced from mainland Asia. Before this time, warriors used Yumi on foot, but it quickly evolved into a dominant weapon for use on horseback. The bow became associated with the horse, and to use both a bow and a horse required wealth and great skill. In fact, in modern times, there are very few talented in the craft, and the bows are extremely expensive, so it's a rare thing to see in the movies. Japanese horses were historically shorter than European and slower, but more sure-footed, useful for Japan's rugged terrain. By the 10th century, warriors would challenge each other to archery duels on horseback, the Japanese spectacle equivalent of jousting. Bows became the weapon of the samurai in Japan, where in Europe, bows were often a weapon of the commoner. A samurai's skill with bow and horse was more important than their proficiency with a sword. In feudal Japan, the samurai referred to their calling as Kuba no Michi, or the way of the horse and bow. In the 12th century, the dawn of the samurai, samurai began participating in events to hone their skills. This included shooting targets from a running horse in what is known as yabusame. One unfortunate practice was the shooting of dogs from horseback, though arrows were later padded for this purpose, and the event was eventually done away with. Kyudo is the Japanese martial art of archery. This is based on kyujutsu, archery practiced by the samurai class in feudal Japan. Training was essential for all samurai, but lower class horseless samurai would more typically use pole arms, such as naginata, in battle. Spears in general became more popular after the attempted Mongol invasion of Japan in the late 13th century. Samurai were diversely trained, and tactics frequently called for mounted samurai to use their spears over any other weapon. Archery wasn't limited to samurai. Training was redeveloped in the 15th and 16th centuries for peasant soldiers, known as Ashigaru, who made up the bulk of Japanese armies. The arrival of the Portuguese and their guns in the mid-16th century saw a decline in the use of the bow. Musketeers were cheap to train and could devastate expensive cavalry. Archers, however, were still used alongside musketeers, having several advantages, such as their rate of fire, and that they could be relied on in the rain. As gunpowder weapons improved, Yumi steadily decreased. Archery saw a revival in the 17th century during the prolonged peace of the 1603 to 1868 Edo period. It was seen as a traditional martial art of personal development. Mastering Yumi requires incredible patience. Many minor techniques combine to create the perfect shot. Techniques include softly twisting a bow hand during release, ensuring a straighter and more powerful flight for the arrow. Japanese yumi evolved from a single piece of sapling to a five-piece bamboo or bamboo and wood laminate construction. A yumi is made from layered bamboo with the more flexible layers on the belly side of the bow and the more rigid on the back side. Many English longbows achieved a similar effect by using a cross-section of yew wood where heartwood meets sapwood, nature's laminate. To give the yumi its shape, it's wrapped in rope and bamboo strips are hammered between the rope and the bow, bending it as needed. This includes a slight recurve, allowing the bow to store and deliver more energy. The grip of a yumi is two-thirds below the upper tip. The yumi being shorter at the archer's waist makes the bow less difficult to use kneeling. Yumi are built so the grip placement is in one of the spots where the bow experiences the least vibration. The lower grip further helps an archer use it while riding, it's less likely to interfere with a horse's tack and is easier to transition from one side of a horse to another. Yumi takes significant care to use on a horse versus shorter bows, like the Mongol recurve bow. Yumi is the term for bow in Japanese. This includes the famous great bows, daikyu, and half bows, hankyu, and they can have various representations in the media. 
It's important to remember that bows were not factory made, but made by master craftsmen throughout Japan. So historic variants are numerous. A typical yumi will have a length between 2.1 and 2.45 meters, compared to an English longbow of around 2 meters. A yumi likely had less wartime draw weight than an English longbow, that could easily exceed 150 pounds. A lighter draw weight makes sense for use on horseback, where samurai could choose and close in on an enemy. Ultimately comparing European bows to Japanese yumi isn't overly fair, as they were often not tactically used under similar conditions, or trained with equally. Furthermore, their arrows were designed to be used against armor of different types. Alright, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching. I won't string you along with too many end of the video puns. I gotta get working on the next video, for I am quivering with anticipation. Okay, bye.